What's up guys, JR Raymond back again, coming to you from Bowler X Pro Shop and Training Center here inside Waterford Lanes, where today we're gonna to talk about the basics. We're gonna talk about the basics of the four step and the five step, what your feet should do from first step all the way through to the foul line. Uh, and we're gonna to try to get our swing in line through the entire approach here in a minute. Stay tuned. <music> What's up, everybody? So we're going to talk a little bit about the footwork in a four and five foot, uh, four and five step approach. We're going to start with four step um, and kind of guide you along the way of what should happen. Obviously, you can see I have tape here. I'm going to show you some footage from Strike Seeker as well. But we're going to try and show you exactly where you should be uh, and why it's not actually feasible or at least it's not taught to walk in a completely straight line like you see on the approach. What we want to try to do is take our first couple of steps in line with that, which means this right foot for our first step cannot actually go straight. I cannot walk in a straight line. This foot cannot go straight in front of me. What I need to do is actually get that foot to go in front of my other foot. And the reason for that is to get the ball to go by my hip. I have to have room for the ball to come by my hip. Now, because of where I'm at now, obviously the next step can't necessarily be straight either. So, for example, four step approach means you're starting with your right foot if you're a right hander, left foot if you're left hander. And we're gonna go, for, we're gonna go forward. If I were to go straight forward with my foot, now I'm pushing it away into my knee or the only way I can get the swing to get around my leg is to then push it away from the path. We obviously want our swing to be more or less parallel with this blue line all the way through. We want the swing to be in line with whatever we are targeting at all times. Now, if I go step forward with a straight foot, my swing has to go to the right, which is then gonna get it to go behind me, and then I have to redirect it again. That is not good. We don't wanna teach that. We don't want those fundamentals. That's not saying you can't do that. That's just saying that's not what we teach because that is really difficult to uh, consistently repeat shot after shot. So what we do teach is to take that first step in line with your left foot, with that back foot or the front foot. So we're gonna go this way, and the push away is going to be directly in front. This gives us plenty of room here to swing the ball side to side. Now, after that first step, we go one, okay? And then the second step actually goes left of the line again. You can see I, my left foot is left of the line. And then obviously we get to the top of the back swing with the right foot. The right foot actually stays, I would say, in line or just a little bit inside of this blue tape and then the fourth step would be sliding back towards the tape to line back up. Now, obviously I was too far back to be able to give you a proper demonstration, but I will try and demonstrate here and now. I'm not, I don't do four step anymore, but we're gonna try it. So it's gonna be one in front, just like that, okay? And the ball's gonna be just in line with my ear under my chin or to the right of my chin it's not going to be in the center of your body it's not going to be too far to the right it's going to be in line parallel arm on the side okay and it's going to be one two three four okay so one two three four right there and you can see where i finished is exactly where i started right with my center foot or with that center of the line if i watch it in replay you can see I go around the tape and then back to the tape. Now the same thing happens with five steps. Exact same thing, except all we're doing is we're taking an extra step that is more of a timing tempo step. A lot of people like that just to kind of get motion going. It helps you with a little bit of speed as well. So I'm gonna start back behind the tape. Now what you do here is this first step basically doesn't matter for the most part. You're not doing anything with the ball. This first step is just straight ahead right right in the tape straight ahead with the tape okay so straight ahead with whatever board you're lined up on now your second step is exactly like a four step so it's going to be like this it's going to be one two three four five all the way through balance you can see if you watch the replay i'm straight in line with the tape i walk a little to the left of the tape 
and then I come back around to the tape, exactly where I lined up. That is proper technique. So the idea, if we were to draw a straight line from the back, is uh, the swing should stay in line for the most part with that tape. So if we watch and I show you, if I were to watch and go through the back swing, I'm looking at the monitor right now. The hard part is uh, for me is I have that little bit of a loop at the top of the swing. I actually get up and around a little bit. So in order to fix that, I have to get my swing to go outside just a little bit. to get my swing to be in line with what I'm trying to do. So if I were to watch this replay now, and again, this probably doesn't have much to do with what we're talking about, but it's keeping that ball in that path. So I'm gonna show you that through there. But now let's take a look at the steps by progression over here on this other lane. All right, so now you can see the steps by progression over here. If I take a five step approach, this is how it's going to be. I'm gonna be lined up. It's gonna be one on this tape, Two, the push away, ball stays in line with the ball cups. You can see the ball cups on the ground. The third step goes back to the left a little bit, okay? Ball stays in line as it's coming back. The fourth step comes back to the right just a little bit, okay? And then the fifth step is sliding towards your target. Ball stays in line with your target all the way through. This is actually a pretty simple concept. It's just some people have a hard time uh, grasping where your feet actually need to go. For some reason, some people are trying to teach that you walk completely straight all the way through as if you're normally walking. So they think you should just be literally walking like this all the way the line to throw it. And that's just not possible. We can't do that because of the ball path. The ball has to have somewhere to swing. If we do that, uh, I shouldn't say you can't do that, but you cannot do it with proper fundamentals. You can't do it without changing your swing and getting your swing out of line, getting your swing in an improper position. So if I do that, now, if you watch, I will step, one will be straight. Now I have to step on the ball cup, which means the ball is actually gonna be over here. So now that ball moves over here, okay? So now I'm here. If I step straight here, now that ball stays over here again, okay? So now it's out. And now that third step, which, which step was that? Yeah, third. So the third step here, the ball's out. Now the fourth step, I'm trying to come back straight again, okay? And the, uh, the ball starts to come back in. So you go this way, you loop back around to get back inside, and it just it doesn't work that way. So that swing path would not be very good. I know that wasn't explained the best, so, uh, you, but you, I'm sure you understand what I'm saying. The swing path has to be outside in order to get past your leg with that step. So with that second step being straight, you have to push it over here. The third step, then you're gonna be pulling it back. So now I guess, yeah, this can stay there or it ends up being back inside here. And then you loop back in and out over here. So it's like you get this zigzag for your actual approach with the ball going through the swing and it's not in line. So how much easier is it to repeat that versus having your feet move a little bit to the left and then back right uh, to allow the ball to swing straight up and down with your target line. All right, there you go. So now you understand the difference between a four step and a five step, and you understand why it's important to have those couple of steps going a little bit to the left uh, in order to create space for the ball to swing in a perfectly straight line. Now, just because you walk this way, that doesn't mean your swing is gonna be straight. So there's other things that you may need to look at. Like me, for instance, my swing's not perfectly straight, um, but it's not because I don't because I walk left or right. That's not what causes it. That's just because I either pull it down from the top, I get bent over too much. There's little things that I can do wrong that cause that. Um, but I showed you that one time that I actually am able to fix it. I'm just not good at repeating it every time. It's something that I need to work on. But the proper technique, the proper fundamentals is to take that first step. If you're, if you're using a four step, that first step has to go in front of the other foot. And then you swing the ball in a straight line, straight down by your side. If that foot does not go in front of the other, you then have to push the ball to the right to get around your leg and around your hip. And that just creates a, a loop in your swing that we don't want to see. So I hope this helps. I hope this uh, clears up a little confusion uh, for some people who were talking about this topic the other last couple of days. Um, but that's all I got for you. Make sure you subscribe, hit like, comment below, and we'll see you guys later.